Top leader Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar, he's reached the Enforcement Directorate Office for further questioning in connection with the National Herald case, which is under investigation by the Central Agency. The KPCC chief said that he's a law-abiding citizen and he respects the rule of law. Earlier, the Enforcement Directorate had rejected Shiv Kumar's request to extend the date of appearance, citing the responsibility he has during the ongoing Bharat Jodo Yatra. The case, you'd remember, relates to the alleged financial irregularities committed by Young India Limited while taking over the assets of the National Herald. The Income Tax Department, during the initial probe, had allegedly found unaccounted and misreported wealth linked to DK Shiv Kumar. That's the allegation. Reactions on the story. I requested them that uh, you please, I am a law-binding citizen, I will respect the law, myself, my brother D.K. Suresh, we are legislators, we have some responsibility in the political system, you please us, U.S. after 23rd, after our Bharat Jodo has been completed, I decided, we all, myself and all of our leaders, we sat to respect the enforced Dermanet Directorate and the law. We left our uh, yatra in the middle and we have come. I am going. Someone, DK Shukumar, they have asked him to appear uh, before them. So how will he take up? How is you know, Congress party planning about it? Because he is saying that he will be consulting the Congress party leaders and then taking decisions. They have filed the case with vengeance. Why they are not filing uh, either income tax are not riding on any of the BJP people? You mean to say that there are no rich people in uh, BJP? You mean to say that uh, the people who have amassed wealth disproportionate to their known wealth? Huh? Why they are not uh, filing case against uh, any BJP man? Huh? Why they are choosing only Shiv, I mean, uh, Shiv Kumar and uh, Congress people? That shows it's a vengeance politics. Summon Mr. D.K. Shiv Kumar and Mr. D.K. Suresh 500 times more. They are only trying to block our yatra. Neither is D.K. Shiv Kumar scared, nor is D.K. Suresh scared, nor is Mr. Siddharamaya scared. Nor is Mr. V.K. Ali Prashad scared, nor are, are lakhs and lakhs of Congress workers scared. We will give them a befitting reply, uh, reply in the court of the people. And we reject such malicious, vicious attempts that BJP is uh, undertaking only, only because they are panic stricken and they are scared of the overwhelming response of the common people to their. Cutting across to my colleague Siddhant, who's tracking all the developments from the Office uh, of Enforcement Directorate. Pallavi Ghosh, our senior editor, tracking the Congress parties also with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, first to you, politically speaking, how is this summoning rally play, uh, playing out? And DK Shivakumar wanted an extension as far as the appearance date is concerned. He didn't get that. That's right, and that's exactly the reason why the Congress party has jumped in to say that this is evidence enough that how the BJP and the central government are systematically targeting their political opponents and how they are unnerved by the Bharat Jodo Yatra. And that explains why they don't want DK Shiv Kumar to lead the Yatra because, you know, he's Karnataka Congress chief. And that's exactly the point which the BJP is making, uh, with the Congress party is making. And not only this, there are going to be two ways that this entire episode is going to play out. The BJP is going to start pointing a finger and they already are at the Congress party. They look the face of your party in Karnataka is corrupt. And therefore, if you are targeting the BJP government over there and accusing them of having a 40% commission ki sarkar, then you also need to look at the mirror. Hmm. The Congress's hmm. counter very clearly is that these are absolutely baseless allegations. There is no proof or evidence against DK Shiv Kumar. But you summoning him right in the middle of the yatra just goes on to show you want that yatra to fail, which is not going to happen. Happen and you're unnerved by the huge traction, according to Congress party, which Rahul Gandhi and the Yatra are getting on the ground. Uh, before I go to Siddhant Palavi, very briefly, just a word about the Yatra and how, what the kind of response it has received in Karnataka so far. Of course, the Congress party says it has been a very good response, but your own analysis and understanding of how it's really panning out, especially in the pole-bound state of Karnataka. 
Well, it's not just a pole-bound state. Of course, that's important. But also, Anusha is the first opposition rule state where the Yatra has actually entered into. Uh, apart, of course, from Kerala. But, you know, maximum number of MPs of the Congress party has come in from Kerala. So, that's considered to be a most safe bastion. Yeah. But in Karnataka, the Congress does have a pretty strong organization. And at least on the ground, the Congress is happy and confident that as Rahul Gandhi moves along, he, there are people on the ground who are joining him. And I think they also see the joining in of Sony. Gandhi even for a short time as one advantage position for them because the women voters matter over there. Her traction in the past and of the Gandhi family with Karnataka in the past, the Congress certainly wants to use that political mileage. All right, Pallavi, thank you so much for getting that understanding. I'm cutting across to Siddhant who's tracking all the developments from the Enforcement Directorate Office. Siddhant, cut to the legalities of it. Tell us a little bit about, in brief, for the, for the benefit of our viewers, the case for which he's been summoned, the line of questioning, if you have any details on that front. Well, look, uh, enforcement directorate officers are completely tight-lipped, uh, but this is uh, this is uh, this is the same old investigation uh, in which uh, Malikarjuna Kharge, uh, Pawan Bansal, uh, Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, they four have been asked to uh, record their statements. Now uh, we have been told, and in fact, the sources in enforcement directorate is confirming this to us that there were two transactions uh, which took place, and uh, and uh, D K Shiv Kumar and D K Shiv Kumar's brother allegedly uh, transferred uh, uh, some amount in the form of donation into the accounts of Young Indian, and in th in that regard only, they have been summoned today by enforcement directorate. They are being quizzed uh, related to this transaction. As you know, in 2019, uh, D K Shiv Kumar was uh, was arrested by enforcement directorate in a in a in a separate case. At that time also. So, uh, uh, acting on the income taxes report, uh, uh, predicate offence was uh, was lodged by enforcement directorate, and he was placed under arrest uh, in 2019. And he was behind the bars for a couple of months. Now, uh, this is the second time that he is appearing before enforcement directorate, but this time he is appearing uh, in the matter related to young Indian. So, several of the congressmen have already been questioned, including Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi, and there is also a possibility that other. Uh, uh, senior Congress uh, uh, leaders can uh, can also be summoned by Enforcement Directorate to record their statements. Now, uh, 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 definitely timing can be questioned. Uh, reason being that DK Chief uh, DK Shiv Kumar is the chief of Congress Party in Karnataka, and Bharat Jodo Yatra, one of the uh, uh, one of the uh, yatras, the uh, the main uh, uh, yatras initiatives by Rahul Gandhi is passing through Karnataka, and That's Mr. Right. DK Shiv Kumar is in charge of the same. He has to look after logistics, money and everything uh, and whole of the arrangement yeah. now uh, now he has been summoned uh, uh, so you know it's going yeah. to affect the yatra and this is how he is attacking bjp and that's what BJP that's was what was also pointing out uh, of Bharat Jodo so the, uh, yatra. So that uh, you yeah. know the timing of it is raising a lot of uh, political questions and that's what the congress party is also arguing my colleague Siddhant getting you all the details on that very important